Getting your audio levels right is one of the most important parts of the audio editing process. So let's take a look. First, I want to set up the interface so that we can see everything okay. Uh, there is an audio editing workspace, but rather than go into that right now, I'm just going to change my editing workspace a little bit so I can see my audio elements a little better. Uh, so first of all, you don't really need to see your video all that well when you're working with audio. So we know that to decrease the size of an audio track, uh, you hold down Option while you scroll down on your mouse scroll wheel. That's Alt on a PC. But if you want to just reduce all of the video tracks, uh, you can press Shift while you scroll down, and then all your video tracks will collapse. And I can do the opposite on audio. I'm just going to hold down Shift while I scroll up with my mouse scroll wheel, and then all my audio tracks will expand. And then we'll just bring this up and actually bring up the entire view of the timeline. Okay, so now we're really focused on the audio here. And I also want to take a look at my view meters a little bit better as well. Okay, so I think we're all set up. I'm just gonna play through the sequence in a few spots so we can see what's going on. And just as a reminder, in the previous movie, we did make one adjustment to our music. We just lowered the volume a little bit so we could actually hear our principal audio, but we need to do a lot more. So let's give it a play in a few spots. I love bread. Good bread is really lovely. Good bread is good for you. We are a very, very small late 70s, early 80s because of a whole change in culture about bread. And it was brought on by people who were into making money as a... The oven has to be right. You can't turn it on like we're all used to at home. That's why they're good to us. So it comes back. <laughs> what you give comes back. Bread is the first food, and uh, it's the same. All right, so I think you'll agree there are a lot of issues. Now, what to tackle first? Well, when you're mixing audio, the first thing you want to do is make sure that the most important audio, which is, of course, our dialogue, is set properly. Then we can mix everything else around that. So because of this, I'm going to solo A1, and we're going to tackle this first. So what we need to do is target our audio to fall within a certain range. Our main normal audio levels, like the human voice, need to peak right in this region right here, right around negative 12, negative 12 to negative 6 at the most. It's possible for louder sounds to peak up here above negative 6, but never above 0. And also quieter sounds can peak below negative 12. Now these standards can, of course, be different depending on who you're delivering your show for, so be sure to check the specific requirements that you need to deliver your audio mix level. So how do we go about this? Well, a good workflow to take in Premiere is to first adjust your audio gain, which is the input level of your clips. And this is to make a baseline adjustment for the majority of your audio. Then you adjust your audio volume, which is the output level. And this is when you individually adjust the different volume levels of the clips in your timeline, which allow you to tweak things on a clip-by-clip -clip basis. We'll be talking about adjusting audio gain in this video and volume in the next few videos. So let's first adjust Esther's main interview gain and make her baseline adjustment. And now that we know where she should be peaking, I'm going to play this again and let's see where she is peaking. Good bread is really lovely. Good bread is good for you. Yeah. We are a very, very small family-run bakery with four generations. So she's generally peaking uh, much too low, between negative 24 and negative 18. She occasionally gets a little bit higher than that, but we want to make sure to raise her to where she's basically peaking around negative 12 consistently. I'm going to come back to this first clip here, and if you want to open the audio gain window, you can select the clip, right-click, and choose audio gain, but you should really remember the keyboard shortcut of G for gain. So if I press G, the audio gain window opens. And the first thing that we're going to look at is this number down here, peak amplitude, negative 13.3 decibels. This is the loudest that our audio gets within this specific clip. So the loudest it gets is still below our threshold. I can take a look at a couple of clips to see, you know, what the general trend is. Press G, negative 16, again, much too low. Okay, and negative 17, all right? So we're going to need to raise her significantly. 
Now, I want to come over to this section because we do have a few interviews with Esther. Here she's sitting in her house. Here she's sitting outside. I'm going to play this, and let's see where she's falling on our VU meters. Gowers, all closed in the late 70s, early 80s because of a whole change in culture. All right, so she's actually quite a bit louder here. If I check uh, the gain, G, you can see negative 10.7, so we're a lot closer. This is right within the threshold of where she needs to be. Of course, this is the very loudest that she is in this clip. So if we spot check, you know, a few more clips here, not too bad. All right, and we'll do one more. Okay, so in general, this interview is a lot closer. All right, so let's come back to our first section here. And I can go clip by clip, but if I know that generally things need to be adjusted by the same amount, I'll go ahead and just select everything in this section and then press G. And based on my initial spot checking of this section, I think I'm going to raise her gain by about eight decibels. So under adjust gain by, I'm going to put eight. And you'll see that when I do it the first time, both adjust gain by and set gain two are both eight. So if I say OK, and then I come back in and adjust this by another number, say 2, you can see that climbs to 10. OK, so this is the total amount, and this is how much you're adjusting it per time. All right, let's see where she's falling with the 8 decibel adjustment. Good bread is really lovely. Good bread is good for you. Yeah. We are a very, very small family-run bakery with four generations in the village of Capperquin in West Waterford, Ireland. You've had two words. All right, I'm really liking where this is falling. There were a couple of moments early where she was a little bit loud, and I'm sure she's going to be a little bit quiet right here based on how the audio waveform looks. Bigger and bigger and bigger, and you lose quality. All right, but the baseline adjustment is getting us a lot closer. Later, we'll come back with volume and tweak on a clip-by-clip -clip basis. But in terms of setting audio gain, I can then come to my next section, and I'm just going to turn off my B-roll so that I can make sure that she's uh, talking in this interview through this whole section. Okay, and then we go back to the first interview here. So if we do it in batches, we'll just want to select up to this point, and then I'm going to press G, and we're not going to go up by 8 decibels. I think I might go up by about three or four. I'm going to go three to begin with, and okay, and let's see where she's peaking here. All family businesses like ours all closed in the late 70s, early 80s because of a whole change in culture about. Okay, so I like that baseline. I might do one more. We'll just raise it to four total, and okay, and I can keep going down the line. Then, when all of my principal audio on A1 is peaking correctly, then I can come in to A2, which is where I have all of my ambient audio, and set that. And we know that we have quite a few issues in terms of our ambient audio, our outside sound, and our oven sounds, and so on and so forth. So I've already done all of this in the post gain sequence, and you can feel free to check out each and every clip and see how much I raised or lowered the audio gain by, if you wish. Now there's just one last thing that I want to point out, and because we hadn't actually started talking about audio prior to now, I edited the clips into my sequence as they were. I didn't make any audio gain adjustments before editing them in. However, there are many times when doing exactly that would be a very good idea. If all of your clips are consistently too loud or too quiet, you can actually adjust the audio gain right in the project panel before you start editing. So here in my interviews bin, I have all of Esther's interviews, and I can just select all of the outside interviews and then press G. And let's see, we decided that those should be raised four decibels, right? And then all of the inside interviews were eight decibels. And so now I've adjusted them at the source. And anytime I use any of these clips going forward, then the audio gain adjustment will already be applied. Again, this is not applied to clips that have already been edited into a sequence. So in terms of order of operations, you would have to do this first. All right, so that is audio gain. Again, adjusting your audio gain provides that nice, solid audio baseline for your audio mix going forward.